There are many questions about what exactly is the fiscal cliff. Um, we in Washington make it sound very complex, but it's actually quite simple. It's a combination of three problems arising at once. There are others coming toward us, but basically it's the debt, the deficit, they're combined. Second is the sequestration problem. We'll go into that later. Third is an automatic tax increase that is scheduled on January the 1st. These are the three main components of the fiscal cliff. But then the first thing uh, to understand the debt and the deficit, first you understand the basic balance sheet of the U.S. government. We spend $3.6 trillion a year and we bring in two point three in taxes. Uh, for those of you who uh, want to see the number, it's actually minus 1.3 in red. That's a minus 1.3 in our planned spending, so that's deficit. But if you were to add all of the deficits from the time of George Washington through today, and we would separate that stream of, of uh, reports from 1776 all the way through Bill Clinton, each president, when he went to Congress to borrow money, uh, had to get that approved. And so we have all of these accumulated deficits through the years added together to make the debt. And that debt up through Bill Clinton's term was about $6 trillion. Then we ran into President Bush's term, for second term, President Bush II, uh, in his eight years, ran up about $5 trillion in debt through his eight years. And then Barack Obama has equally, in four years, run up $5 trillion in debt. So again, doing the math on that, since George Washington till today, we have about $16 trillion in total debt. That is the accumulated deficits added through the history of this country into a debt load now of 16T, and that compares to an economy that is also 16T. So just this year, we passed the total gross domestic product uh, with our debt. Now, the sequestration are automatic cuts in the military, $1 trillion in cuts to the military that will take place January the 1st, and then also automatic tax increases January the 1st, the average family seeing $2,500 a year in increased taxes. That is the fiscal cliff.